the second to last of the season. It always feels like, like we're breaking for the summer. Like it's high school. Everybody's getting their yearbook signed. Do people still do that? And it's just like we're in those last couple days of class where nothing happens except in this show, everything's happening. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to My Hero Academia. We have episode 137 today, A Young Woman's Declaration. Now, last episode was extremely emotional with all of class A trying to bring Deku back and they actually got to him. And now we're in this giant containment that UA is and a lot of the civilians are not happy that Deku's here because he's the target of all for one. We're going to hop right into it. If you're new to the channel, drop a sub and let's get started. Oh, this is just before they went to get him? Oh, so they actually came up with a plan prior to bringing him. It's realistic too. Oh, so that's their excuse. They're protecting him as well. Yeah, I mean, makes sense. Same levels. I mean, Tartarus got blown through like a, a paper hut. Yeah, they're like principal. It's not that great. Yeah, Shigaraki did break in really easily originally. Okay. How are you so sure? Well, this does look like Attack on Titan. What? No way! A linear network! That is it's like a robot anime! That is absurd! No shot! That is absurd. When did they do this? I guess season one, he said after that attack. Oh my god. Oh man, it goes all the way to their school. Paid for it myself! How loaded is the principal? Dang, yeah, he to go for real. Well, now that we know that, I feel better about Deku being here, and the, the civilians should too. Yeah, and it is logical, because if All for One gets his hands on Deku, they do need to protect him. So that's why he was fine with them going to get him and bringing him back. So do the civilians know about all these systems in place? Or no more? Oh my god, is that Kota? Holy! Even he's here! The news! It's dividing people! Clickbait! Yeah, they're gonna think the teachers are biased too. Deku looks so sad! Mm. Yeah, having him out in the wild is pretty dangerous. Dude, endeavor. Not everybody's gonna be okay with it, no matter what they say. Which I, I'm biased. I, I would say I wouldn't feel that way, but I probably would as a, a regular civilian. I'd probably feel be terrified that Deku was here. Plus the doubt they have in heroes already. I just mentioned Japan's been lawless. What happens in the rest of the world while this is going on? Oh man, this is the most emotion we've seen from Deku in a bit. Oh, like they're gonna riot. She got a little megaphone, maybe some talk no jutsu. I like how she's using a megaphone. It's more realistic than, I mean, other shows that she just talk. You have it on my shirt! What did President Mike say? That emotion wouldn't work? Or did Gina say that? Oh, he's just looking at her. Damn. Oh my gosh. This is how broken he's already become. Yeah. A young woman's declaration, so I'm guessing that's a Chaco. She's so tiny! You feel a little bit worse now, huh? I didn't realize how tall she was. Oh my gosh. I was gonna say, yeah, that's not gonna be enough for most people. Dang. Ochako really talented to him, man. The heroes is on the front line. Yeah. The people. Oh, damn. I, I completely forgot about her conversation. Oh, 
I swear to God, this show is the best soundtrack, man. Oh my God. Oh my God, Kota. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my god, I wasn't ready for that. I thought last episode was emotional. <laughs> oh my god. I forgot his quirk, Water Gun. It's been so long. His legs just moved, just like a hero. It's crazy how her character comes, like, it comes full circle to how Yue actually accepted her. Cry baby hero. I thought it, would, it was just a random encounter, but it meant so much more. It means so much more now. Yeah, they haven't even heard from Deku. He's just been standing there. He's in danger no matter where, and people are in danger no matter what. Yeah. Oh my god, some sense, man. I know it's hard to see this, but someone had to say it. Wow. It all comes full circle too, bringing people in without crazy hero quirks, that they're still a part of it. You can try. That's what he's trying to do. The first thing he says... God dang, dude. What an episode. Holy. It's not even over. They're starting to accept them. And this is a small, small, small portion, but it shows that change is possible. Oh my god! Oh, I forgot they had him. Oh, okay. Make sure there's. Wow, I'm surprised they specified that. That, like, no one can get in 100%. Well, I feel like you could question that. It's interesting that they were that specific about it. Oh my. Oh my god, he's okay. Thank goodness. That guy was watching him. Oh, I was so worried. And it hasn't even been covered since. So, what happened after that then? Oh my god, are they in the car? Oh no. Is that who's watching him? Is that Stain? Oh man, I think it. Dude, that looks exactly like his crazed eye. He has a blade too. It makes. Dude, I hope Stain comes back in a big way. I think he's just such a great character, man. They put him away so long ago. And I've said from that point, I don't know how my reactions to the first four seasons, but he was just such an intriguing character to me and used so quickly in the two, three episode span he was in. But god dang, dude, what an impactful episode. That was a lot. Ochako putting in the work for real. But that was. Them. Like I said, most uh, emotion we've gotten out of Deku, but he's, he's seeing how gung-ho they are about being around him and being there for him. I mean, she poured her heart out to those people trying to, to show them their perspective. I love that that perspective of them being the heroes as well, part of that stage, part of that production, part of the solution to this problem. They're not just bystanders anymore, especially in a time like this. And I can see how they're kind of setting up for the end of the season for it to go on break, how, yeah, we're leaving off at a really tense moment, but things are sort of on pause right now i think you can set up a lot more in this world especially with if this is staying what he's doing following all might especially considering it seemed like there was a very open opportunity last or two episodes ago when that happened when he, he was like just hiding there i don't really understand his perspective still either because i feel like his perspective is like the, he won hero society collapsed and hits what he kind of wanted originally if i remember correctly plus the fact that he trained dobby i think that was revealed earlier this season that he him and dobby had a, a very close connection Guys, that's been it for 137 of our MHA watch through. It's just fantastic. This season may be end up being my favorite season of MHA thus far. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to drop a sub and I'll see you guys next week for the season finale and uh, I'll see you then. Peace, peace.